Shots were fired outside a synagogue in Albany just hours before the start of Hanukkah. No one was hurt, but children were inside, and a suspect is in custody. Senior investigative correspondent Aaron Katursky has the latest. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning to you, George. This suspect is charged with unlawful gun possession, but this morning authorities are investigating whether the shooting should be charged as a federal hate crime. It was around 2 o'clock Thursday afternoon when police said a man fired a shotgun in the parking lot of Temple Israel in Albany. Nobody was hurt, but the synagogue's preschool was in session and immediately locked down. The suspect, the governor said, made threatening statements, was taken into custody, and police said the shooter was heard shouting, Free Palestine. Temple Israel is one of uh, dozens of New York synagogues recently targeted with phony bomb threats. Every anti-Semitic act the governor called unacceptable, but that shots were fired hours before the start of Hanukkah, she called even more deplorable. Synagogues and mosques have been on high alert since the October 7th start of the Israel-Hamas war. Earlier this week, in fact, the FBI director said anti-Semitism was reaching historic levels in the country, saying Jews are victims of the majority of hate crimes. And just after, the Department of Homeland Security issued new safety guidelines to houses of worship. Juju? Okay, Aaron, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.